Shalom friends, my name is Jude Antoine, Catholic lay missionary from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is Easter 2017 and I just want to share this message of great joy, good news for you, your family, for your loved ones. It's a message full of hope in the midst of the pain, the struggle that you are going through in your life right now. This is Easter 2017. And I want to read to you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28. Matthew, chapter 28, starting from verse 5. And the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples, he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he's going ahead of you to Galilee and there you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and with great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Friends, this is good news. The good news is this, the good news of the angel to the women. Do not be afraid. I know you're looking. You're looking for Jesus who was crucified. The good news is this. He is not here. He is not here. He has been raised. He is not here. He has been raised. The tomb is empty, friends. The tomb is empty. He is not here. He has been raised. Come and see the place where he lay. Then quickly, go quickly and tell the disciples he is raised from the dead indeed he's going ahead to galilee and you will see him there this is my message for you friends this is the message of the angel to the women and this is my message for you and i today this is the message of good news for you and i today jesus is alive he's not dead and buried in some tomb somewhere his story is not over yes there was a good friday there was passion there was suffering there was pain and yet the good news is this three days later the tomb is empty he is not here he has been raised this is good news for you and i today friends and the good news is this because he has been raised so too you and i will be raised too in from all our situations, our struggles, our pain, our problems. Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 18 to 19, Jesus says very clearly, I will not leave you orphans. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will see me no longer, but you will see me. And then he says something amazing. Jesus says something amazing, friends. He says, because I live, you also will live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is great news. Jesus says, and I repeat to you again, Jesus says, because I live, you also will live. I don't know what you're going through, friends, in your life right now. Maybe everywhere you see around you is death. Death in, in your marriage. Death in your finances. Death in your relationships, death in your career, death in your studies. And you're asking God, why, Lord? What's going on in my life, Lord? Why is everything I touch, why is it all dying? And you are losing hope. You're afraid. It seems that the tunnel is dark ahead. Maybe the doctor has told you, you have cancer and the sickness is terminal. You are afraid. My friends, this is good news for you today. As the angel said to the women, today the word of God tells to you and I, do not be afraid. Death no longer has power. The tomb is empty. Yes, there is a tomb. Yes, there is a tomb, but the tomb is empty. Yes, there is a sickness, but the sickness is empty. Yes, there is a cancer, 
but the cancer is empty. Yes, there is death, but the power of death is empty, friends. It's empty. It no longer can control you. Maybe you're in your marriage relationship and you're thinking, Lord, my marriage is dead. Well, friends, the power of the death over your marriage, that death is empty. That's good news for you. This emotional problem, the depression, the fear, the psychological problem that you're going through, its power over your life is empty. You know, there is no greater way to describe this than in the many Easter traditions. This is an Easter egg. This is an Easter egg. Have you seen any? You probably have seen many Easter eggs. And have you ever wondered why? Why an Easter egg is so beautifully decorated, colorfully decorated? But you know, there's something amazing about an Easter egg. When you peel off, when you peel off these layers that surround the Easter egg, as I'm peeling it right now in front of you, as you peel it off, you reach this egg. You peel off whatever that looks colorful, decorative. You reach this egg. But you know there's something about this egg, this Easter egg? This Easter egg, friends, is empty. It's empty. This signifies the tomb that is empty. The tomb is empty. And therefore, whatever pain, problem, suffering you're going through, maybe you are scared in the midst of that. The good news today, John chapter 14, verse 19, Jesus says, because I live, you also will live. You see, friends, if Jesus is not risen from the dead, then your faith and my faith is in vain. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14 to 20. If Christ has not been risen from the dead, then our preaching is in vain. Your faith is in vain, Paul says. If Christ has not been raised, then your faith is a delusion and you are still lost in your sin. But the very fact is, Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of all those who have fallen asleep. This is good news for you because it's the first fruit and because Christ has been raised from the dead, you and I too can be raised from the dead. Pope Francis, in his Easter message, Ubi et Orbi, in 2014 says, the church throughout the world echoes the angel's message to the women. Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who has been crucified. He is not here. Come and see the place where he lay. This is the culmination of the gospel. This is the good news par excellence. Jesus who was crucified is risen. This event is the basis of our faith and our hope. If Christ were not raised, Pope Francis says, Christianity would have lost its meaning. The whole mission of the church would have lost its impulse. From this very point from which it sets forth, and continues to ever set out anew. The message which Christians bring to the world is this. Jesus, love incarnate, died on the cross for our sins. But God the Father has raised him and made him the Lord of life and death. In Jesus, love has triumphed over hatred. In Jesus, Mercy has triumphed over sinfulness. In Jesus, goodness has triumphed over evil. In Jesus, truth has triumphed over falsehood. In Jesus, life has triumphed over death. This is why we have good news to tell the whole world. We tell everyone, come and see. In every situation marked by frailty, by sin, by death, the good news is not mere words, Pope Francis says, but it's a testimony of the unconditional and faithful love of God. 
It's leaving our past behind and encountering others, those who are crushed by life's problems and troubles, sharing with the needy, standing with the side of the sick and elderly, the outcast, and telling all of them, come and see. Pope Francis says love is more powerful. Love gives life. Love makes hope to blossom in the wilderness. Hallelujah, friends. This is good news for you, for me, in all of our circumstances. So friends, if you're watching this right now and you are thinking to yourself, Lord, where are you? In the midst of my pain, where are you, Lord? Then friends, come and see. The tomb is empty. The tomb is empty. Love has conquered death. Love has conquered death. Life has conquered death. I just want to share this scripture with you. Friends, I want to read to you from the letter to Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? He did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us. Will he not then give us everything else? Who will bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died and yes, who has raised who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword? As it is written, knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Verse 38, for I am convinced neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friend, Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. I don't know what tomb you are stuck in. I don't know what tomb you are locked in. Maybe it's a tomb of depression. Maybe it's a tomb of fear. Maybe it's a tomb of anxiety. Maybe it's a tomb of sickness. But whatever the tomb is, friends, today the good news of Jesus is this. Do not be afraid. The tomb is empty. The power of that tomb over your life is empty. Jesus has risen from the dead. And Jesus says very clearly, because he lives, you too will live. Because I know, I know, he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives hallelujah god bless you friends a blessed holy easter to you